Good afternoon my YouTube friends, welcome to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave K. I hope you're having a good week and everything's alright where you are. Every now and again we get something rather different or unusual in the workshop, something that you don't see very often and today is no exception. So this little bad boy, well I say a little bad boy, it's quite a hefty bad boy. It's something that we don't see uh, normally. Uh, it's the first time I've had one in the workshop like this. And so I thought this would be a great time to do a video. Now, if you're into your e-bikes, particularly your unrestricted ones, then this is the video for you. So this particular bike, as you can see, it is an e-bike. Um, and it's kind of a little bit stealthy. In fact, it's a lot stealthy because there's no graphics on it. But if you look a little bit closer, you can actually see that this is a carbon frame. You can tell that by there's no welds or anything like that. So this is a complete carbon frame. But look at this. How many times have you seen an e-bike with that particular brand written on the motor? And I bet you've not seen that many. Uh, particularly with the mid-drive motor here. So this is a Chinese e-bike, okay, it's full carbon, it's got a Bafang 500 watt mid-drive motor in. So this particular bike comes with a thousand watt battery, yes, a thousand watt battery, you heard me right. Um, now that's kind of unheard of at the minute in this particular country. I think maximum you can get is around about uh, seven, eight, nine hundred watt maybe. Uh, so I can imagine how many miles you're going to be able to cover uh, on that particular wattage of battery. The motor, this particular Bafang motor is a 500 watt version, but you can actually get a 250 watt work version. You can get a 500 watt or a thousand watt version and you get it all shipped in a box. You buy the frame, the battery, the controller and you build it yourself at home. Which is a brilliant way of keeping the cost down. But looking closer at this bike, it looks really, really good quality. Looking at all the, the suspension pins, the anodizing is nice and clear. Uh, the, uh, the etching on it is really well done. And it's very well put together. It's been very well designed. Uh, I've been looking at the geometry, the geometry is nice, it's very similar to what you can actually buy retail wise for this size of bike. So what this customer has done is, is built it with some really nice components. Um, it's put some Rockshop Zebs on there, there's some H1900D2 Swiss wheels on there. And as you can see from the frame, close-ups, it's really, really good quality. Brilliant quality really well designed. The geometry is very similar to what you, what you can actually buy, uh, say for example on, a, on an Orbea Rise, it's very very similar. It's going to actually fit itself some hope, brakes, so it's got some nice stuff on it. I'll drop a post there, uh, it's gone X XT 11 speed. All in all, a lovely lovely bike. So that's all well and good. And it looks a lovely bike, but how does it ride? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to take it out for a ride. I'm going to film the ride, uh, which is something that I haven't done for ages. So I'll take my camera and we'll do some filming as well. But what about the legalities of this thing? Is it legal at the moment on UK roads? Well, it isn't, okay? Um, it's not restricted to 16 mile an hour and it will pedal as fast uh, sorry, it will go as fast as you want it to go. As fast as you can pedal it, it will go. There's no throttle on it. You can put one on if you want one on. You can ask for one. When you buy it, it's part of the options. Um, and so you can actually put a throttle on it. But when does an e-bike stop becoming an e-bike? Well, really, if you take the crank arms off and take the pedals off, it becomes a completely different thing altogether. It becomes like a motorbike, but an electric motorbike, if you like. And then you're going into a completely different uh, level altogether in terms of insurance, MOT, 
um, licensing. Oh, it's go absolutely nuts. So it's important that if you're going to build this sort of bike, then you restrict it. Okay, you can do that. You can do it through the software. You can restrict it to 16 mile an hour. As you can see, you don't really need to go that far before you're kind of on some really nice little bike riding trails. So let this lady go past. Hiya. Hiya. Um, and it's, uh, we're really lucky. Sobey Bridge is fairly close to all this sort of stuff. You don't need to go that far. I've limited it to 16 mile an hour. Not that we're going to go up to that speed anyway today. Uh, but we're just climbing through Copley Woods, which is a lovely place. Uh, really, really nice. It's a lovely day today as well. But it makes a nice change. So, this bike, although it's a medium, it's a tiny bit small for me. Uh, and I've actually got it in number one at the minute. I'll just turn it up, number four. And you can feel the motor kicking, giving me more. Giving me uh, a little bit more assistance. It's really muddy and a little bit slippy, so I need to be careful. I don't go too far. We'll just go round here to the left on this top path. Now, the reason for me doing this video is really not to see how fast this bike goes because I'm not interested in that at all. Uh, I'd like to see how it rides, how it feels, and it feels heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy bike um, for an e bike. I think it weighs, well, I'm not sure, but have a look, I've put it on screen. Uh, so it's not a light bike for an e-bike uh, But it does seem quite nice to ride. It's uh, fairly, pa fairly powerful, smooth um, It's reading the reading position the riding position is quite nice uh, And I feel really comfortable on bike um, So As I said before, we've got some nice stuff on this bike. I don't know whether you can hear the motor. You might just be able to hear the motor, but it is quiet. I have to say it's quiet compared to uh, maybe a Bosch. It's probably a little bit more quiet than a Bosch. But the riding position is really nice. Feels planted. There's some brilliant, you can see down to your left some brilliant trails if you dare don't go down them I know a few people that do but uh, you won't catch me going down them so what we're going to do is we're going to go down this little rocky descent down to his left uh, a few little steps and and a uh, little drop off so we'll just see how we go down there and like I say I'm not going to go nuts I'm just going to kind of keep it fairly steady I'll just mount the camera on a, a nice place so you can get a good view of what's going on. And you can see that, well I'm only doing 5.8 mile an hour now, I've turned it up to 5 just to kind of give you an idea of what the motor might sound like under power. As you can tell it's pretty quiet, it's not noisy at all. And I'm not surprised to be honest because Bafang have come a long way. So there you go. Nice little ride on the Difung with a Bafang motor. 900 watt battery, carbon, really nice. It's got some nice stuff on it, some Zebs and Hopes and stuff, and it does ride really nice. Uh, and I'm not sure what I was expecting to be honest but I wasn't expecting to be quite as good as what it was and looking at the price you pay I'm not sure about import duties are out like now all right now but VAT and stuff but it seems like a good buy to me uh, and you get the fun of building it up all yourself what, what, what where can you go what 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 more can you want anyway I'll catch you back in workshop
I hope you enjoyed that little excursion into Copley Woods. I certainly did. It makes a nice change to get out uh, and do a, a bit of review outside as well as inside. Um, and such a lovely place as well. If you ever get a chance to go that way, then please do. It's well recommended. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below of where you can actually buy all this stuff from uh, to build it yourself. It's a, a company called Dengfu Bikes. Uh, and you can buy it in a full kit and um, and do what you want with it and put, you know speed it up or slow it down or whatever you want to do. And the prices are really good as well. I'm not sure about the VAT and the import stuff, but take a look for yourself, the full description uh, below. So on that note, please share, please subscribe if you've not done already. I hope you're enjoying the videos that we make. Please leave some comments. I'll see you later. Doodle pip.